to make your pyramid generate again push the result of calling padro with done and count as the arguments to your rows array similar to what you did in your first loop okay i forgot about my first loop oh this is one this is it this is it so <clears throat> first we have to uh, call our array which is the rows we first have to access an array before using an array method which is which is in our case the push so the array first rows then interpolate the push in order to add something to the end of the array and that and what is to be added is that we have to uh, call our padro because it says here push the result of calling padro which is a function in here so we have to push the padro padro and with done and count as the arguments as you can see here padro has two parameters row number and the row count in our case we would be calling our padro and put here as the arguments so what will happen here wait let me check yes so what will happen here is that we will access our array which is the rows and add something to it by pushing the result of the calling of our padro which is this one which is responsible for uh, creating a pyramid and with that we have here our arguments done and count so it depends on the values of these two which will be uh, inserted into this parameter and do its own calculation once that calculation is done it is stored in a function and which is called into the padro from our push to be inserted to our array rows okay i don't know if i did that right it's 2 a.m but i hope you get that right nice mm -hmm.